I thank the distinguished youth delegate of Sweden. I now give the floor to the distinguished uh, representative of Georgia. Madam Chair, Your Excellencies, fellow youth delegates, ladies and gentlemen. The upcoming year of 2020 is a deadline for achieving some of the targets set out by the UN 2030 Agenda, the Sustainable Development Goals. The adoption of this document has been a truly transformative step towards the world of clean environment, human rights, good governance, rule of law, and economic progress. It has also marked the commitment to democratization of international community by making it more accessible to previously invisible and unheard groups, such as internally displaced persons, women, and the youths. It has also emphasized the importance of including persons with disabilities in all aspects of social, economic, cultural, and political life. Young people are not only our future, but more importantly, they are our present. Greta Thunberg, who was 15 years old when she established, initiated the Fridays for Future movement, has a disability. She's on an autistic spectrum. Yet her social status of a girl with disabilities has not prevented her from being an enthusiast for shared future of our planet. Her participation at the UN General Assembly this year once again demonstrates the UN's commitment to inclusion. In Georgia, steps are being taken to institutionalize the SDG promotion. For instance, SDG compliance is one of the criteria for school textbook approval. I would like to thank, you, thank the United Nations for including a previously invisible group of middle-income states, many of which are conflict-ridden or recovering from violent conflicts, in great need of help and support, as well as a role, a say, and a voice in the international processes. We all, the SDGs, are important for us, and the peace and sustainable development is essential not only for individual uh, prosperity of human beings, but for our statehood existence as well. Many middle-income states face hidden but no less important and grave challenges. SDGs also underline uh, the importance of cross-cutting and intersectional approach, recognizing that many people face barriers and challenges due to various and combination of factors, many of which are unheard, invisible, and th thus overlooked. Overlapping identities may, may increase um, the likelihood of exclusion. To leave no one behind and reach the furthest behind first as the UN um, Sustainable Development Goals preamble suggests, it is important to identify the persons, the barriers they face, and let them be heard first. I would like to share an experience, a story of my younger schoolmate from Tbilisi Public 202 Public School for the Blind. She had no choice but leave her family and move to boarding school for study. She could not even see her family once in a week or a month as a child from any other Georgian region would have, as she is from Gali, an area in the Georgian region of Abkhazia, currently occupied by the Russian Federation. After graduating from school, she could, had to return back home because her family could not uh, come with her and move out from Gali and support her during her studies at university, nor are there any conditions in Tbilisi for a uh, disabled adult to live and study independently. She, there was no possibility for her in Gali to study in a specialized school, nor in the mainstream school for that matter. Thus, her being a woman with disabilities, a younger girl living in an occupied area, resulted in multiple barriers and challenges for her. But not only ethnic Georgians are shouldering the burden of the violation of their rights to education in their uh, native language, free movement, uh, accessing the best attainable standard of health, and um, participation in decision making on the occupied territories. This burden is shared by their Abkhaz peers with whom I have talked during some confidence building meetings. 
uh, they too are concerned that the Abkhaz language is not being given due regard, facing the risk of losing its status as of instruction language in the uh, educational establishments. To mitigate the results of the violations of these rights, the Georgian government uh, supported more than 100 young uh, school I thank the distinguished youth delegate of Georgia, and I'll give the floor to the distinguished representative of Serbia. <laughs> <laughs>